Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukok Radash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect through the house of David, reborn again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Asherala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to watch a disturbing video that's going to show us what is on the horizon for those who do not want to take the mark of the beast. Let's go ahead and read Isaiah 32 and 7. The instruments also of the churl are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. But the liberal deviseth liberal things, and by liberal things shall he stand. Now, the term here, liberal, let's actually look this up. So, liberal says, open to new behavior or opinions and willing to discard traditional values. All right. So, that's basically the, the main point of this. You see, the so-called Caucasian race, the, which the Bible refers to as the Edomites, they are all about liberalism they're about leaving the old ways and forging new paths for the future which are of their own accord you see the bible is very contradicting to liberal ways because it has a set rule of laws behaviors and customs which it tells you to observe right it does not tell you to go out and seek new ways the reason why these devils are out here pushing this liberalism is because they are trying to establish their new world order, which they are well underway of doing, right? This is why you've seen all these laws get rushed through the Congress and Senate House and are now laws, right? The uh, recent CARES Act, which is the $6 trillion relief bill which was just signed by President Trump that was created uh, last year in January when the coronavirus wasn't even developed until uh, or wasn't found until about November or October it, you know give it a, even even an additional month right to show you that these devils they devise wicked devices right he devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, right? Because this is why we've been finding so many uh, alternative facts about what's going on with this whole world pandemic, why things are being revealed, right? Like how that the CARES Act has been initiated a year before it, the coronavirus even came out, how these politicians sold off massive amounts of their stocks before the stock market crashed how all these these rich elitists fled the country and are now sheltering in their bunkers, right? These are the wicked devices that they're using to destroy us, man. And they're lying to, to the people of what's going on. Well, let's go and watch this. Last week, Dr. Michael Ryan, he's the leader of the World Health Organization, announced that in response to the spread of this virus, authorities may have to enter people's homes and remove family members presumably by force. In most parts of the world, <clears throat> due to lockdown, most of the transmission that's actually happening in many countries now is happening in the household at family level. In some senses, transmission has been taken off the streets and pushed back into family units. Now we need to go and look in families to find those people who may be sick and remove them and isolate them in a, in a safe and dignified manner. Safe and dignified, right? Well, this video is making the rounds today. It's from Canada and it shows these police forcibly moving this family, this man and, this, and his wife, it seems, out of their homes to be taken down to the hospital to be tested. Now, there's a lot that's left to be unknown in this video, but from the comments of the officers, and the comments of these residents here, 
it appears as if they had somehow in the past involved themselves with this whole testing and compliance apparatus which was set up now what that has done is that basically has invited the devil into their home now literally here you could see a devil in their home in fact as I roll this video you're gonna see there's multiple devils in this home so these people here thinking that they were in their security have let these devils into their home and now they have nothing that they can do but go along with with what they're asking they should have never let these officers into their home they should have never have agreed to anything whatsoever they shouldn't even have talked to these these police officers well what happened they entertained the devil and the devil took advantage so let's go and watch this I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this 17 minute video so that way we only watch the important parts of this conversation I'll go and link to the full video if you want to watch it but there's other videos I also need to show you to show you that this isn't a unique case this is something that is now going to be the new normal right yeah yeah that's no problem you can record i, I don't need i don't need you here do you want to set it up Am I okay to talk yeah okay, okay. so as a result yeah. as a result of speaking to my partner yesterday there's con there's concerns i i prefer to stand here okay with that after speaking to our, my partner yesterday, there's some concerns for your safety, right? We understand what your 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 yeah, your standpoint, right? The reason why you're doing what you're doing is to, to take a stand against the city, correct? No, the city. Government. The government. Okay, yes, the government. But as you know, what I can say from one person to another, if you how you said yesterday from one human to another, it's a oh, wait, 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 wait. You're saying you're human. Yeah. Tell you, me one. You just tell me one thing. If you as a human, breathe. No. All animals breathe. Okay. Okay, keep doing. Just let you know. You're trying. You're, no, you're not. You human. ask a question. Answer. You're not human. Okay. So as a result, Wait a second. you're saying you're human. I'm saying you're not human. Mm -hmm. You have to become human. Okay. Okay. No problem. See? That's how you identify yourself outside. You so serve. You serve corrupted government. Too. You pass yes. that big system. Okay. You come in here like this. Mm -hmm. Are we? Are we so dangerous to you? Look at us. I hope not. I hope. I hope everything goes smoothly. What? I don't know you. My job. I have to make sure that I protect myself and protect everyone that I'm dealing with. Right. Yesterday, That's the purpose. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yesterday, a bunch of your police came, mm -hmm. and uh, also on a like almost SWAT team. You should bring tanks and like that. Oh, we're gonna check on you again. Yeah. I'm like, come, but come, come, come like that, this. Come yeah. like this, like this, mm -hmm. like her. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think without She's anything. not a police officer. Right now, I'm a mental health worker from St. Joseph's Hospital. We are part of a specialized unit, the rapid response unit. What is that? Services in St. Joseph's Hospital. What? That's why I'm here. Someone, this. this, this normal. Why did you come at eight o'clock? It's our time to go to sleep, actually. My apologies. My apologies for coming at a time that's not convenient for you. Well, why did you come? I, I was going to let you know. You you had some, you had some questions for me, and now the reason why I'm telling you why we were here. My colleagues came out yesterday. They submitted a report based on your interactions. We have some concerns for your well-being and your safety. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So we're nice of you. Just so nice of you. It's so hypocritical, actually. When we are approaching guys, thank you, because yeah. you guys are there. Okay. More okay. You're more in trouble. Your soul is there. So, yes. so, what wait, I'd like wait. to clarify, so I'm not here to get into that debate. Uh, uh, but we are gonna... here to get into that debate. Okay, that's, I'm not we here to get into that debate. You. What I'm, I'm here to let you know is that based on the concerns that were put forward yesterday with your report, we have contacted a judge, and the judge has issued, issued what's called a Form 2. What that is to do, and this is, it directs me as being a police officer, that I'm to take both of you to St. Joseph's Hospital right now for an examination. No way. No way. Unfortunately, I don't have that with you. We don't have that discretion. You have no right. You have no right. You have no right to do that. You have no right. That's what this is for. I can let you know that's what I'm trying to say. It's a form for the Ministry of Health that's been backed, that's been backed by a provincial judge. Okay. 
that, that's neither here nor there if you care or not. This is my authority and this is what I have to do. So I hope, I beg of you to come cooperatively. So you're not going to come cooperatively. So what is, you're not authority. Okay. Oh God is authority. You cannot do this. That, I respect that for you. Unfortunately, my standpoint and my position is that I'm paid to enforce this. Okay, this is my job, this, this is my job, this is my role. I have an obligation. Wow, you're, I, took, you're, I took an oath you're really, to serve and protect. You're really and, I, and just to let you know, my, I'm here to protect you. The reason, the reason why I want to take you there is to protect you guys to make sure that you're safe. Wow. So what happens is we go to St. Joseph's Hospital, you, keep you speak to the doctor, you, keep you speak to the doctor. You keep okay. I don't believe I am. That's your that's your that's your opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. You're evil. Okay, that's your opinion. You don't know forcefully me. Forcefully to take us to hospital. Well, Are I don't want. Me? I don't want to do it forcefully. That's why I'm hoping that you'll assist me. That's, so what I'm asking is that you come cooperatively. No. Okay. No. Well, no. I would. I would not. I would rather not go hands on with you. I don't want to force you physically. Wow. This form got just said, I'm a mental health worker, okay, I'm not a police officer. This is an involuntary examination of hospital. What this means is that it's not in the police discretion any longer, or as a mental health worker, this form is valid, signed off by a justice of the peace. They cannot walk away, it's involuntary examination, you people, you not admission, people, examination. You people so what we're asking is we're asking see. for you know what I mean, cooperation. You're going to go down, you're going to be seen at the hospital, and you're going to meet with the doctor. That is what that form says. You're very safe. So, you're like the officers safe. asking today, really this, this is intrusion. Want. We are not threat. In this case, again, you're, again, you're absolutely entitled to your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to look at it. Again, I'll explain it one last time. I, I beg of you that you accompany us. You come at night when you see it. anything turning physical. Right, I beg of you that you come pretty willing. You are thieves. Okay. You are Again, we're not, we're not here to get into a debate. We're not here to get into name call. Just some advice. The easier that things go right now, the easier things can go at the hospital. You are not authority to us. Okay. And I understand that. That's your opinion. No. But I have no to go first. So this is going to happen, folks, but it's just a matter of 
how you how you you want to go barefoot? Okay. You stand up, please, sir. Wherever you want. You stand up, please. No. Okay. Just put your hands behind your back, please. Thank you. You gotta say, people, brothers, sisters. Is that okay? Is that too tight? Okay. Yeah, we'll take a look on back I apologize that this is kind of this, okay? But we're just uh, we're just doing what we have to do, okay? We're just doing what we have to do, okay? We're just doing what we have to do, okay? We're just doing what we have to do, okay? We're just doing what we have to do. I realize you don't agree with it, but we really just didn't want anyone to get hurt, okay? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how you're able to quell your conscience. You lost your morals. Well, man, we'd be in trouble if we didn't do our job, right? I understand you don't agree with our job, but we'd the, be in trouble if we didn't do it. The job is only to feed yourself. And you could do, you could have another job. That's not an excuse. The job is not a virtue, any, any job. You're just slaves for the system. We're all slaves for the system. Every transaction on a daily basis, all your bills you gotta pay and buy groceries and so on, and then when you're making your own, we're when you make that system, no, our only choice to no. have a job. And here's the other video that came out a few months ago showing a man in Texas. He's here at a hospital and he's refused to take a vaccination. Now, what vaccination that is, I'm not sure, but the point being is that he came to the hospital in the first place, right? And now they don't want to let him go. If y'all gonna try to quarantine me or whatever, you can't, you can't force me to play anything in my arm. You cannot do this. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Well, it doesn't work like that. How do you know I'm sick? We haven't even done a test on me. <laughs> How do you know I'm sick? You haven't even got a test on me. They tried to do a test on you. How the test got work like that? It doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. It doesn't work like that. You can't force me to do anything, bro. But you see, I'm a man. You don't stand as a man. I'm a man. You can't force me to do anything, bro. But you gotta do work at all. For you still here me, I want a lawyer up here. You can't do that. Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? No, no, well, how can you force me to do something? Some shit gonna change, man, bro. Y'all talked to me when I was a kid. I'm trying to explain to you. I was a kid, too. And I'm a man now. Listen to I'm a man now. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. So the doctors talked to you. They did not feel like you have the capacity to make medical decisions <clears throat> based off their discussion with you. And so... How, 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 how do I not have that? That's I'm, a, I'm a grown man now. How that's do I not have the capacity? Decision. Okay? And all we're trying to do is help you. Nobody wants to hurt you. We're just I don't want to hurt you. Okay. I am okay. 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 So if you'd be willing to let us do what we need to do medically for you. Yeah, I tried it already. That, that's not what I need. <laughs> and I think that's the concern, <laughs> is that you're sick. We can all, um, we can all tell that you're sick. <clears throat> But you don't want to get the help from you. Not sleep. You were sick enough to call an ambulance. She gonna change the baby. It's called a revolution. A revolution. That's what this though. Revolution. That's that's what this is called. Y'all know what a revolution is? You don't even. This shit gotta change. All this shit gotta change. Mm -hmm. It's called a revolution. Yeah. I'm revolutionary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you want to make everybody sick? That's nah, not true. That's this shit ain't real. Coronavirus is not real, bro. Come on, man. It's not? Y'all better get on that bullshit. Y'all better get on that bullshit. Y'all ain't fooling me with that coronavirus shit. Y'all better get on with that shit. Y'all ain't fooling me. I'm not I'm not the man. I'm smarter than this. My IQ is over, honey. You are not fooling me. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna expose that shit. Fuck y'all. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. So we're concerned you people on the people and then you won't People love places they thought I was crazy. 
Nah, I'm not tripping, bro. Not tripping. I'm not. I'm not sick. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not serious. 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 I'm Okay, so you got this whole group of people that take you to Dang, are you listening to me? Things gonna change after this. You came to the hospital for help. I got a die food, I don't care. Right. You came to the hospital for help. I owe me. You got you got everybody here that's trying to help. I owe me, bro. So what 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 do you want us to do, man? Y'all owe me and y'all owe a whole bunch of burdens. Dang. Just like me. So what do you want us to Things do? Things are gonna change today. <laughs> Things are See, what's crazy is that this is not the old times. The revolution will be televised. See, that's what they didn't tell y'all, bro. The revolution will be televised. Come on, man. It's, it's different now. Yeah, it's not the 70s no more. People have come on This is not the 70s no more. The revolution will be televised, bro. Man, so what do you, what do you want for us to do? Man, what do you want for us to do? Why do you want us to help you? I want what I was supposed to have, bro. What is that? My 40 acres and a mule. All that. Okay, all man. that, bro. You at the hospital. I need man. all that, bro. James, you at the hospital. Nah, 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 that shit got to change, bro. This shit has to change. So why did you come here? Because I felt like I was sick. Even if I'm feeling bad, you cannot force me to do anything, bro. We're not trying to force you. It doesn't happen. Uh, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. So what do you want to show y'all? If, if, if you're not going to cooperate with us, how did you come here, man? I'm going to show y'all, bro. That's why everything going on right now. Things need to change, bro. Things need to change. Healthcare need to change. We should have free healthcare in America. Other countries, hey, why can't we have it in America? What? That is not right. Okay. It's time for a change. It's time now. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And it's time for a change now. It's not tomorrow. Time. What can we do for you right now? What you can do for me right now <laughs> is y'all can change what's going on in these hospitals. Y'all give my mama a key. Okay. You okay. ever seen John Q? Have you ever seen John Q? Okay. I can be John Q right motherfucking now. Okay. My mama need a kidney. Why the fuck can my mama get a kidney? Yeah. Y'all come up with it. That's what y'all need to do. Yeah. Y'all come up with it. That's what y'all need to do, bro. For real, I'm in Parkland, bro. Parkland Hospital. That's what y'all do. Yeah. But then, what you think the revolution about? can start today, not tomorrow. So what you think yeah, about this? is not the 70s no more. Man, what you Us about? niggas gonna fight back. I'm gonna die for that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna die right motherfucking now. But then, you know I'm not scared of that. I don't wanna hurt anybody and I don't wanna hurt myself. We're not trying to hurt you, man. 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 Y'all ain't saying kill me while I'm in the bed. No, man. Come on, you know what I mean? Come on, come on, None of that shit, bro. Dude, I'm like, no, no, I'm finna fight for my life. We ain't, man, ain't nobody yeah. talking about that. That shit is not right. That shit need to change, man. Poverty need to change, man. Y'all, these rich motherfuckers, that shit need to change, man. It's too many people out here with money for us to be fucked up like this, man. That is not right. But if you if you knew what the S word mean, that, that's made up. You know what I mean? This is not our original language. That's, this is a whole other language. I'm way, I'm way advanced for y'all, bro. No, I'm not getting on the bed, bro. You can't make me get on the bed, bro. It don't work like that, bro. It do not work like that, bro. It don't work like that. You can't make me get on the bed, bro. I'm not a prisoner. I'm in America, bro. It's a free country. I know my rights. Okay. All right, you're in the room with them now. Talk to them, please. I don't want to talk right now. I don't need the energy. Hang up the phone. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk, bro. I rebuke you, Satan. <laughs> I rebuke you, Satan. Odu Balahim in that something you're about to I rebuke Satan right now. I know what's going on in this world. I, I got the juice. Odu Balahim in that something you're about That's what's going on out here. Yeah, I know I got the juice, bro. Nah, y'all can't do that. That's not going to work. I rebuke you, Satan. Get away from me. I don't want to talk, bro. Okay. Give me a lawyer. 
I want a lawyer before y'all touch me. Okay. It doesn't work like that, brother. You can't no. Right. Y'all need to wake y'all everybody's talking about they woke. Okay. Yeah, it's time to wake up, it's now. So man, why don't you just go in and let me see my case so we can go, man? Nah, y'all ain't forgetting. Y'all ain't been facing out kid. That shit didn't work. Okay. So then That shit did not work, bro. So then we uh, just like you don't want to put your hands on me, I want to put my hands on you. Okay? But the thing about it, man. Well, we gonna tear this bitch up. But the dude, ain't nobody even trying to do that. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Don't touch me. But then, if you don't want to touch this bitch up, don't touch me. Nah, man. Don't touch me, bro. I'm gonna tear this bitch up, bro. I'm gonna tear this bitch up, bro. She's gonna touch me. Get away from me. I have my personal space. Okay. I want my space, bro. Don't step back. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all, bro. Don't step back. Okay. 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 I will show you how it works. I know what's right and what's wrong. It don't work like that, bro. It do not work like that, bro. These are the chains in this country, man. I will tell you, hey, man, y'all didn't come up to Parkland, bro. That's what needs to happen, bro. Y'all worry about everything else, bro. Y'all need to come up to Parkland, bro. For real, man. The time is now, bro. Y'all need to come up to Parkland, bro. For real, man. The time is now, bro. Y'all bring guns, whatever y'all got to bring, bro. Y'all gotta bring guns, all that shit, bro. Nah, I'm for real, bro. The time is now, bro. The time y'all know me, bro. I'm real, bro. I'm not, I'm not crazy, bro. Come on, man. Nah, man. Okay, well, please leave me alone, bro. Like y'all said me when I was a kid. None of the doctors fuck with me. Y'all fuck my head, bro. We will tell this bitch up right now, bro. And I will tell this bitch up. Don't not mess with me, y'all. Please. Come on, come on, man. Please. I'm asking you. I'm begging you, brother. I'm black man. I'm begging you, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you, bro. Please leave me alone. 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 Not until you get on the bed. I'm not getting on the bed. Help us, man. Help me out, bro. It doesn't work like that, bro. Can I? anybody know a lawyer, bro? Somebody yeah, said a lawyer. No, bro, no. Come on, man. No. Come on, man. It don't work like that, man. This ain't right, man. I would nah, don't put the phone down now, motherfucker. Now, bro, we bro, leave it alone. I don't want no leader of my own. I'm not on drugs, none of that, bro. I'm the same. I'm the same man. Y'all the ones that's crazy. Y'all the ones that's crazy, bro. No. No, no, come on, bro. Get your motherfucking hands off me, bro. You don't fuck like that, bro. I would tell the bitch off, nigga. I'm gonna love you, nigga. Get on me. Get on me. Get on me, bro. You don't work like that. I'm not crazy. You crazy, white man. Leave me alone, bro. Come on, man. 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 Come on, Stop. Help, man. This shit ain't right, bro. Stop. Ah, ah, Stop. Ah, this ain't right. Ah, ah, ah. So as you can see from those videos that I've uh, taken out the highlights of, the system that we once knew no longer exists. Now it is no longer a system of voluntarily getting vaccination or shots now with the new HR 6666 and all these other draconian laws that are being put into place this devil is going to make getting these vaccinations which ultimately will lead to the mark of the beast described in this scripture here this is revelations 13 and 16 and he causes all both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. 666 you see we knew that this was coming because this is what they have been doing in China right for those who needed to get uh, quarantined or tested that didn't want to comply 
right? Over there in China, they had it a lot easier because as you can see here, it's mandatory for all homes in China to have doors facing outwards, right? Which open towards the outside, which means the people on the outside, in this case, the government or the police force, have the advantage of opening and closing your door and they could actually lock you in. In fact, there was videos of the Chinese government welding people into their houses. They were literally welding their doors shut, right? And these are the videos they don't want you to see where they're literally dragging people out of their houses. Now, in the two videos I just showed you, the first one was fairly cordial and you gotta attribute that to that being Canada and those two people who were taken out of their houses not being Israelites. They appear to have been Ishmaelites, right? You could see that they were trying to uh, converse with the devils to try to explain to them how they are morally corrupted and that they were evil, right? But you can't talk to the devil, man. The devil's not going to understand you, right? Because they, as it tells you in this, let's see, this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost and whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of the Mashiach, who is the image of God, should shine on unto them. You see, you're not going to convince the devil of what he's doing is, 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 is wrong, right? You may, you may be able to catch the ear of a, of a Jake here and there that may be amongst the group, but they're not going to stand up against these devils and 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 give you you know freedom. It may happen in in a small case where some some Jake on the inside is gonna gonna look the other way and is gonna let, allow you to escape or you know the Lord the Lord will make a way. But on a whole, right now the devil is coming down with terrible wrath. And right now, as in that scripture that I just read, right down here it says he destroys the poor the poor with lying words. Right? That's exactly what he's doing right now. He's out there destroying people with his policy, man. His policy of peace, showing that he's there trying to help you. But what he's really doing, he's trying to fulfill that prophecy in Revelation 13, 16 about everybody needing to take the mark of the beast. This is James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. You see, what is coming, people, is going to be crazy, right? Something that we've never seen before. And just like that very first video I showed you where those officers were falling back on the whole uh, idiom that, what did they say? Just following orders, right? Just following orders. Where is that from? That comes from, let's actually read it, right? The term goes, Befel is befel. An order is an order. Just following orders is a justification for morally questionable actions that a character may invoke when questioned about the righteousness or necessity of such actions. The justification holds that the bulk of the responsibility for such actions falls upon those who make such decisions and give such orders within a military hierarchy by extension those who obey and act upon such orders cannot be held entirely accountable for their actions they respectfully protest our allies we are only following orders nothing more as a fellow soldier surely you must understand Now you know what I'm soldier. You are all war criminals. All of them war criminals. So just as that excuse didn't work for the Nazis, it's not gonna work for World War Three and those individuals who carry who carry out the orders of you just doing your job. You're not gonna have these devils lighten up. They're not, there's not going to be an allied power somewhere in the world that's going to come and stop America or China 
or the rest of the world from doing what it's doing. This is the will of God, right? And he is using Satan and Satan's people who are the Caucasian race on the earth today, who are known as the Edomites, to do this, right? And that's why the only way that you're going to get out of this, right, is to turn to the Lord, as in that scripture that I just read to you, right? Just as the Nazis couldn't get out of out of their punishment by using that bullshit excuse that they were only following orders, and just like you're seeing these officers and these medical uh, uh, people saying the same thing today, it's going to be turned on their head, right? But you see, it's not going to be an allied uh, court that's going to come and condemn them. It's going to be the Most High, and that's why I'm telling you, Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. And anybody out there who's who they believe their father goes back to that 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 lineage or who have it in their spirit to understand this truth and understand that the Lord is a so-called black man that the Negro Latino Native Indians are the true Israelites you know and you believe the truth of the Bible as according to how great millstone has been prophesizing and teaching it then you you have a chance to repent and turn to the Lord because by doing so, this is what's going to happen. Let's read this. Jeremiah 27 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you, and ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all of your heart, and with, and I will be found of you, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whether I have driven you, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. So you see people, the only way to escape the coming judgment of what you just seen these two people along with that Moabite go through being pulled out of their houses and being forceful, forcefully given vaccinations or having to go through this beast system is to turn to the Lord. Because when you turn to the Lord, like it tells you here. I, it tells you here that the Lord is going to, he will turn away your captivity, right? He's going to find a way for you to escape the coming destruction. Now, how, you know, now obviously he's going to do that in some physical manifestation, right? He's going to cause a, a social worker to miss your house, to not, not, to be too lazy to go to your house to check on you. He's going to cause somebody to look over your record, somebody to accidentally mark it as already tested. Right? That's what the Lord's going to do for you. But that is only going to work when you start turning to the Lord, people. You start, you know, asking for his forgiveness. You start repenting for your sins. And that is only going to happen if you are part of the one-third or the 144,000 elect. So right now, I am imploring you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, people, please, if you have any inkling of turning to the Lord and you have not done it yet, do it now. This is the moment. Like that guy said, man, this is it. This is it, people. The revolution is about to start, right? But that is going to bring a lot of, of wickedness and death. Like it tells you in uh, Jeremiah, which is Jacob's trouble, right? This is also spoken about in 2nd Ezra 15, right? The apostles of Great Millstone have gone over this chapter two times in, 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 a, in a row over these last two weeks. That's that's a big deal, people. I understand that a lot of you out there who aren't completely into this truth don't actually understand what that means. The mere fact that the that the people who are held at the highest esteem amongst the Israelites in the world today, who would be the high priest of Great Millstone, the uh, Apostle Tahar on down, when they say something, it's not those physical men saying it. The Lord is literally speaking through them. So again, I implore you, Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, the true Israelites of the Holy Bible, 
you need to wake up people you need to get away from the the Kemet doctrine the Catholic doctrine any religious doctrine man be it Protestantism Baptist Baptist Jehovah wickedness uh, Mormonism going into the books of Enoch going to the book of Jasher the uh, all these books man you need to stick with the Bible and you need to understand what the truth is plain and simple that is your only way out of this trap that these devils are setting up for us and that they're now springing upon us man unless you want to be part of this picture man unless you want to be part of these riots that are gonna break out because of this or the massive amount of death that the Bible prophesies will happen or the governmental destruction and breakdown because of the the infighting and the countries invading other countries and eventually being locked up in these FEMA camps and getting mar the mark of the beast and these vaccinations then go ahead and ignore what I and all these other prophets have been saying man but if you want to make it through this in one piece be part of the one-third of Israel or the hundred and forty four thousand elect then you need to turn to the Lord completely with all your heart like it told, told you in that scripture and you need to this moment man when this video is done you need to go kneel down face the east pray to the names of Yahweh which is the true Hebrew name of the Most High which means he is and Yahweh Shai which is the true name of the Messiah which means he is salvation right this is how you correctly call upon the names of the Lord along with his only begotten son the Messiah right you say Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rukwakwardash, and then you go on with your prayer and you ask for whatever you need the most. And at that this moment, it should be salvation, people. You should ask the Lord to bring you through this fire that we are all going into right now. So with that, hopefully this video was edifying and eye-opening. You know the time's now, people. The time is here to wake up and, and get your ass into gear. Alright? The devil is walking around like a roaring lion seeking who he is about to devour. And that is going to be two-thirds of our people, man. Two out of every three Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians are going to be devoured by what's coming, man. Because they are either lost, too proud, or just hard-headed. And they're just not going to get it. So with all that, I want to give all praises to... Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukwak, Rudash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.